In order to find the element steepness is the matrix, so we, we, are, we have two methods. Method one, I have mentioned this uh, earlier in the lecture. So we know that uh, once uh, we have a structure and uh, we can describe the relationship between the loader degrees of freedom and the loader false vectors using this relationship, k times u is equal to f. So if we apply one for one degree of free for one nodal degree of freedom and the rest uh, degrees of freedom at zero, then we can get the first co first column of this of the element stiffness uh, matrix. So let's use this method to find the first uh, uh, column of the stiffness matrix uh, first. So now let's go back to the model tree, and uh, I want to change the mesh to linear quadrilateral element first. So we use the linear and we untick reduced integration, click OK. So this time we are going to apply um, a degree of freedom for one node and the rest of the rest of the loads will be fixed. So we need to delete our boundary condition. So we can go to here. So you can't kind of delete the boundary condition from here because it's uh, it's under this step. You have to go to the boundary conditions for this model. It's uh, here, the boundary condition and the loads. So you click uh, this one and just click uh, delete. Now the boundary condition is gone. Now we need to delete the concentrated uh, node. So click uh, delete and click uh, yes. So the load condition is gone. Now we need to we just need to apply displacement. So we click uh, displacement. So this is the uh, load one. This is load two. This is load three. This is load four. So let's uh, define the boundary condition for so load one. Load one boundary condition. So we call it load one BC. And then this time we need to apply a displacement. So we select the displacement and the rotation. Continue. So for this one. So we have a. Uh, this is a linear quadrilateral element, so we will have uh, eight loader degrees of freedom. So for the, we will start from this point. So we click here, and for U1 and U2, we click uh, both, and uh, we pick, we put uh, U1 as a uh, one, and U2 as zero, and click uh, OK, and then we click. Uh, the boundary condition and then we apply boundary condition for the second load so load uh, 2 and uh, boundary condition so we do the same thing but th for this uh, node we need to put uh, both uh, of them as uh, 0 so this, uh, this load and this load and this load will be completely fixed and we only along one loader degrees of freedom, which is uh, x, and y is uh, 0 as well. So click uh, OK. And similarly, we constrain the third load. So it's called uh, loader 3 and bc. And then we do the same thing. So click uh, here. And then we put 0 and 0. Click uh, OK. Similarly, so for node uh, four, so click, and uh, we are going to use the same uh, option: displacement and rotation. Click continue, and we click this point, and then we click down, and then we put zero zero, and then we click uh, OK. So we applied. So if you recall the boundary conditions. So we only apply the 
one unit of uh, displacement along this direction for this load only. So then we will have a uh, full reaction force from uh, this load, this load, and this load, and this load. Then this uh, reaction force is equal to the first uh, column of a steepness uh, matrix. So let's uh, run this job. So this time we can create a new one called uh, uh, check uh, steepness uh, matrix and click uh, continue and click uh, OK. So now we submit this job. So it shows that we have submitted our analysis. And our analysis input file processor completed, complete, completed successfully. So it's error free. Now our uh, file has completed uh, successfully. So we click and we can check the results. So this time, uh, so you can see we applied uh, uh, one unit of uh, displacement at this load along x direction only. Now we need to check the uh, forces here. So we go to the uh, report and uh, field output. So we are going to export the Mm. We need to put the unique uh, unique uh, loader, and we are going to select uh, reaction forces. So we want to export reaction forces one and reaction forces two. And then we click uh, OK. So let me think if uh, we need to. Uh, okay. Then we click uh, OK. So we will have uh, an report. So let's click. Uh, so go to disk C and this one, you will have your report and you can open it uh, using uh, Excel or any other file. So Let's check uh, uh, the 